Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory, the game all about ripping the resources from the planet around you and turning it into, well, space elevators and whatever pro project construction is it a project construction i can't remember the name of that uh, the name of the project that the fix it companies wants us to do and whilst this is all a great high and lofty ambitions i actually have another ambition that i want to partake in you see dear viewer ever since we landed here i have I have felt the pressure of gravity. I have looked around me. I have been assaulted by the radiation that uh, bathes this planet, and I am not happy. I yearn. I yearn to return to the vacuum and the weightlessness from whence I came. And all we have is this thing here that we can only send items through. Well, I will not have it anymore. No, no, no. We're going to put a foundation down here. We have a landing pad over there. Oh, I should, I should show you. L little side, little side note. Uh, this sort of three tall uh, building structure here. Perfect height for a launch pad. Oh, it's just so good. Also, new discoveries. I put that there because I wanted to uh, like jump down from the side and I, I was told that it wasn't safe to do this. But let me tell you, it is safe to do this. <clears throat> anyway, yes, I yearn to return. Turn back to the, uh, the vacuum and the low gravity environment from whence I came. And so I shall. Let's not do it like that. That's going to take forever. Uh, I've, I've recently found out that you don't need these landings. Uh, I may have actually said this in the last video. You don't need the landings. You can just kind of go up stair for stair for stair. And man, you can get a little bit of, uh, of speed going on doing this. If you get the, uh, get the rhythm right, the whole placement just kind of goes smoothly. And you can carry on up. Now, my first objective is, of course to clear the top of the uh, the space elevator. I, I don't know whether we can clear the top of the space elevator, but I kind of want to jump on that thing there. I don't know whether we're too close, too far away. I don't know. We will find out when we get up there, but we're already getting quite a view on the entire area. I'm hoping that I'll be able to jump quite nicely into that, but I will see you when we get up uh, at least to the height of that thing. Man, you really can get a good speed on when you get going. This is great. And before I run out of materials without realizing and run off the end. I, I didn't quite realize how tall this thing was. It's huge. I'm here like building, building, building. Let's uh, let's try and look over the side. I've got a lot of layers so far. We're only this far up. Wow. Oh, there we go. Out of materials. It is time for us to return first. Just look at this. How, how far? We're still miles away. Well, not miles. But we're still meters away. Look how tiny my base looks down there. That is cool. All right, here we go. The first ever long distance jump on this server. Uh, server? Save? Whatever it is. I mean, I suppose I technically am still running a server. I have enabled the uh, the multiplayer options. Oh, please, please, please. I feel like I'm falling downwards too much. No, there we go. Okay, here we, we're good. Bloop. <laughs> Sweet. So, having a look, we need... Uh, let's get into my inventory. But every five... No, yeah. Every five stacks of concrete we have, we need four stacks of plates. Okay, we can do this. Oh, take a moment to look back at it here. Wow, look at that in the sunset. That's beautiful. I'm still worried that we're going to actually like run into the uh, actual elevator, but that'll be fine. Also notice that my health is a little bit down. Not sure why, so I'm going to use my random box of, my, of stuff here and uh, get some of this. Get some nuts in my face. Oh no, oh no, I fell. I fell on the run up. Oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. It's a good job I brought these with me. All right, I... I'm going to have to do this a little bit more slowly than I would like to. I was just running on up there and... Oh, man. Oh, that... Uh, yeah, okay. We're just going to walk now, I guess. <laughs> so I'm about halfway through the iron pickup that I just made. And I'm really starting to get a sense of scale of the map. Is there a corner over there? Or is that just my render distance? I don't know, but we can start seeing like there's some green patches over there. Oh, look at that light coming in. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we've got some green patches. Maybe there's some stuff over there. Really starting to get a feel for the size of it, as I say. Uh, but I'm, I'm really interested. I think I've made a mistake, if I'm to be honest with you. I think we're about to bash our head on this. I'm super worried about that because this might stop us. I mean, I suppose we could just uh, throw a foundation out to the side, but that, uh, oh, that, that hurts. That whole idea just really hurts me deep in my soul. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens when we actually get up to it, which uh, it's getting very, very close. But as uh, still, the scale of this thing is totally throwing me off. I, I thought we were a lot closer than we are. And, and you know what? I've done a lot of things this week. I went out this weekend and uh, there was a lot of like tall bridges and cable cars and stuff like that. And I, I 
I suffer from vertigo. I'm not scared of heights. I want to keep pointing this out. I'm not... Oh, it's not real. Uh, I'm not scared of heights. I uh, I just feel terror. And by that, I mean I start sweating and I can't move. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not scared. I feel fine. I'm there being like, I don't know why this is happening to my body. Can someone please help me continue walking up the stairs? <laughs> that legit, the phrase that I said over the weekend. <laughs> um... Man, I want to jump on that. And this, this is, this is giving me the same sort of thing. My, my hands are like sweating on my mouse. This is, this is great. I love it. Well, we are quite a way up. I've, we've still not found the top of the pillar. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I'm all about that. Still not found the top of the elevator. A little disappointing that we can't stand on the actual elevator structure here. That's, that's a little disappointing, as I say. But we well, you know, I can live with that. Looking around, it's all very foggy. I may have started speaking at the wrong time. It's like sunrise or something. But look at the map that is all laid out underneath us. That is great. But I need to go for another iron refill. I'm, um, <laughs> scared. Let's try this. Okay, here we go. Uh, there, I can see it. I can lay eyes on it. We've got to try and fall in the right direction. There seems to be some sort of inertial system on the go. If I start moving, then I carry on moving that way. Okay, everything's coming to sharp focus. Yeah, I'm feeling good about the landing, but man, I feel like I've hit in terminal velocity pretty quickly. Oh, don't, don't push forwards. Push forwards is a bad direction. Uh, this good that it does it from literally any height. Wow, look at that. And still, and still, it's not actually that high, is it? That's going to take a while to build. I want, I want to try and, like, see what's at the top of the cable. I'm starting to question that commitment, though. Oh, look. More pretty colours over there. There's a pink biome. And this is, like, dark green. There's some blue. That might be water, though, looking at it. Yeah. Oh, it's much nicer looking around at this time of day. I am kind of sad that this has no collisions. If, like, kind of sad doesn't even sum it up. I am very sad that this doesn't have collisions. Very, very sad. Well, that's it. I am building faster than the concrete can keep up, and I'm going to say that it is a functionally infinite tether. Uh, I've not been able to reach the top, and we are proper past. Let's go and have a look at how far below the elevator is. In fact, I can't... Look, there it is, that little triangle down there. So we're going to have to jump and go do some other things. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to go have a look at some of those areas that we have seen on our little exploration up. That should be a pretty cool. Wow, this is quite the drop. Let's watch this go ripping past. Whoosh, oh man, look at this. Definitely not really at the same terminal velocity that I would expect falling from a height like this, but I suppose, you know, we have already discovered that this is low gravity. But maybe, I've been thinking on the way up there, you know, as I do, I have been complaining about the astrophysics of this setup before, and I'm gonna say it again. Because <clears throat> the day length, you know, a full rotation until we get back to the sun being up there seems to be about, I don't know, 15 minutes, something like that, something like that. And given the fact that this appears to be a flat plane, that must mean that this bolt, this ball that we're stood on, that we call a planet, must be quite large, right? It's got to have a certain size to it for us to not really see the horizon, right? So let's say it's Earth size, it spins around in 15 minutes. Imagine the centrifugal force that is trying to lift me off here. I mean, it's not centrifugal force. I'm going that way as the planet spins around in a circle, so I am going forwards and the planet just kind of like curves down underneath me as it spins uh, and then it should just kind of launch me up into orbit if we're going that fast but that might be why we've got such low gravity here right maybe anyway we're gonna go exploring i need to kind of just dump a whole load of stuff here uh, I, I really need to figure out a better way of just storing stuff as you can see uh the concrete to metal plates ratio not the best when we're building but that's all good that's all good i'm gonna grab uh all of these let's let's just grab all of these and we are gonna go off on a uh Tractorific adventure. We're gonna start with probably the most obvious of exploration questions. What's up this green hill here? I want to know whether this is the starting area, like the the original starting area that everyone knows, the little green plains, or is it the mountainous, uh, mountainous uh, jungle area that that is the other starting area? That will be interesting to find out. I'm not sure if we're gonna be finding too many hostiles around. It is something to watch out for, as you can see right over there. We've got some hog-tailed what's -a -dos. I'm loving that lake over there, and I think I just also saw a green power slug. Yes, indeed. But I want to follow this road through, see if it takes us up to the grasslands area. Um, for those of you who followed the alpha test weekend, I'm kind of expecting it to be the same area up there. 
But also, as I, as I did just previously explain, there is a third starting area that it could be. Tell you one thing, there are a lot of wildlife here. Oh look, more wildlife. Great. Ooh, I've just been trundling up this main road and what are these? Are they either untextured or new species of tree? I don't know if I want to get off and uh, start fighting those hogtails thingies, but I do... Oh, look at this. Is it like a mushroom biome or something like that? It could very well be. It's, it, it's really pretty. Whatever it is, it's really pretty. So it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like I'm in the, the grasslands area. It kind of feels a little bit more mountainous. But we're also, look at this, with the sun setting, uh, diving through some sort of like, what is it, mushroom forest probably? Look at the water though. Does it all feed out of that one lake? That would be interesting to find out if it does. I'm really just going to follow this road until we can't follow the road anymore. Like, what's that? That's some serious building uh, area down there. That would be pretty interesting to look at. Uh, which way? It's got to be this way, right? It's got to be this way. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I haven't run one of these over yet. I don't, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. Okay, so we've got some iron here. That's pretty cool. This looks like a nice little area to colonize and make your own. Not really the wide open expanse I was expecting though. That's it's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Ooh, this area might look a little bit more familiar. Hello little bird down there. Let's go under this way. Let's see what we can see. This, yeah, it feel, feels a little more familiar, but who knows? Oh no, it's another desert. What? Alright, I was wrong. I was very, very, very wrong. Okay, we've got some gassy pods over there, so I'm not sure if that's the direction I want to go. Um, and obviously, down there might be a little bit awkward. Uh, I would like to get down and have a look, but no, we're, we're going to leave this desert. I wanted to just go... Oh, look at that. Majestic. Majestic. Oh, no, look. Look how short my little chain of... Oh, my little chain of stairs are compared to the tether. We, we, got, we got a long way to go. Oh, man. Long way. Oh, more gassy pods ruining my day. Let's not go that way. All right, I feel like I've been hemmed in by these gassy guys. Let's try going back down into the mushroom forest over here. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. But I was kind of looking for... I really want to know where the start, start biome is. That, that first start biome where everyone starts, that would be ideal. I've got a feeling it was in the other direction, though. Oh, small pack of herds. There we go. Let's get a small pack of herds. Yeah, you heard me. Uh, the small pack of hogtailed fluffy tail thingies. Uh, these guys, I've never actually had the courage to stand around and let attack me, so I'm not sure what they would actually do. A little bit of loading judder there. Wasn't really expecting that. Not like my machine is not, you know, capable. Oh, I think, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. we got a free power slug that I can just go and grab. I am definitely going to go grab this. Uh, oh, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Oh, it's been locked away from us. I don't have my chainsaw on me and we're in trouble. Okay, all right, let's let us let's just go. think we're about to bust into a new biome. We saw these trees, like, from the desert. Not the rocky desert, but that other desert. Um, and these, I mean, they're, they're nice-looking trees. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Underground camera. Nice, nice. Oh, no, I'm destroying stuff. I didn't want to destroy too much stuff. Okay, looking good. Let's see if we can like loop round back to uh, back to the tether. Oh wow, look at the lush. Look at the lush. It is beautiful. And this feels dingy. Nice, nice. Making me feel, man. Making me feel. Ooh, that's something new. Look at these. What are these? Hey, hey, hey. Stop, 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 stop. Can I? Is that this leaf? Don't know. Let's. Can I? Can I jump? Uh, ooh, how do we get up there? How do we get up there? Let's go around this way. Huh. No. What? What? What are you? What are you? Am I supposed to be like cutting stuff down? Maybe. Maybe. Like you are interesting. You don't look like you should be floating. Is there anything I can do to inter? I mean, like, do we? Do we? Uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's. Let's try. No, it doesn't jab. It doesn't. Doesn't actually seem to be real. Oh, oh, we might we might be a little deep into the woods here with the tracker. Uh, yeah, no, I th I think this is a little little too deep into the bushes. We're gonna have to uh, to turn around and go back, maybe. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's a beautiful place, but trying to find my way through is a nightmare. 
It's definitely in jungly region rather than beautiful grasslands. Oh wow. Oh wow. Look, look at this. Look at the overhang, guys. That is distant. Distance. I'm a little bit worried about like just creeping up to the edge here. Can I get a decent decent screenshot? That would be good. I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to get one that really implies what we're seeing here. Maybe something like there? Maybe. Alright, we're finding our way down the slope that we were just looking down. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything worthy down here. But, you know... <laughs> but, you know, far less risk of uh, death and catastrophic failure if we're down low, right? I also, like, want to know what these are. Are these bacon... No, flower petals. Uh, no, I've got, I've got too many already. Don't. Wow, look at the beauty in this place. This is amazing. I might even have to get off the tractor and walk around a little bit. Look at... Oh, 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 gas boys, gas boys. Not quite what I'm after. Is this some sort of, like, swampy area? It looks like it might be. Trying to look to see if I'm going to die from swamp gas. I think we're all right, though. Man, driving this tractor through here is not going to be... Well... It's gonna be fun, but it wouldn't be fun in real life. Let me tell you that. Oh, gas. Didn't quite... Oh, no, I mean, we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. So, one thing to find out is how deep water the tractor can drive through. Now, this is... Oh, hey, what have we hit? This is not something that I want to... Rip. Risk. Ooh, okay, that could have been a lot worse. Also, what is that thing firing at me? No, 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 no. Oh, man, what? What? That thing. Okay, it was... Okay, that, that's fine. It was a little little critter. But I'd never seen them fire sustained blasts like that. Please don't go... What the fire? All right, I think we're probably done here. And I think I'm going to be going back. But look at this. Look, oh, look, there's a pod over there. I ain't going to be able to get that pod. Not, not with my current level of tech. Okay, getting out of here in one piece might actually prove to be a little more difficult than originally intended, but we can definitely find a way. We came down that cliff edge over there. I don't even know where the tether is right now. Uh, I thought it was over there, but I can't see it. Ah, it was completely the opposite direction. Okay, all right, maybe I'm a little turned around. Man, that over there seems to be like another type of biome, but that's like totally off track. I, I, need, I think we need to get home and do some... Uh, do some actual factory work. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Should we do some factory work in a factory game? I'm back at the water's edge. This is not what I was expecting. But also, look at this place. Wow. I'm going to say that a lot during this exploration because, you know, we're exploring. No, please. I, I, as much as I, like, understand that, you know, the camera going under the floor is probably going to be a thing. Is that actually water I'm looking through there? Um, I just, Couldn't we have some sort of ground ground detection and it just kind of like pushes up maybe something like that because i want to i want to see those trees and i can't all i can see is under the ground so i am a little worried i keep coming to places like this i'm trying to find, follow my way back to the marker uh, i'm not exactly backtracking directly so you know things can things can and do go wrong with my navigation but uh, oh, I was kind of expecting more more permeability in between the biomes. Maybe there's literally just one way in and out. That that would be pretty painful. No, no, no! Oh, no! No! I slipped down off this beach trying to turn. No! Oh, we are so far away. We are so far... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know what we can do. <laughs> of course. Oh, we do have other problems. We do have other problems. Uh, vehicles, tractor, do that. Okay, all right. That's that's made things a little easier. <laughs> I, 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 I was full full blown panic mode there. Oh no, have we lost some fuel? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm really worried about these guys though. Uh, look, we should definitely explore that area out. But I just want to see if there's anything here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that actually... No, 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 go away. I'm, I'm swimming and you're swimming. We can't attack each other. Go away. Go away. Go away. What do we need to do? Need a motor. I don't have a motor. We do, We can pick all this up, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, how... Oh, why frames? Let's just get in there. <sighs> can we open this? Can I Can I get on top? Let's Let's. Let's try and do this somewhere. Yeah, that... Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Work, work for me, not against me. Okay, some fuel went in. 
that's that's the important bit. Okay, this 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 place is bad. I'm I'm gone. I'm out of here. I try I tried to avoid stuff, but no. Maybe trying the direct drive wasn't wasn't the winner. Uh, <laughs> who who knows? May have been a bad choice though. Oh look, we can see we can see the sun. That means that we are getting in the thinner thinner areas of the of the jungle. Maybe, hopefully. Oh, oh, have, have I crashed it? I think I've crashed it. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, I need to get out of where we are though. Um, keep keep going if you can. Let's keep moving. Oh no, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in big trouble. Big, big trouble. No! Good job I didn't take too much with me. Just my equipment. Just my equipment. Learning from mistakes. It's true. I did learn from my mistakes there. I think the biggest mistake we made. Well, oh my god. Aside from going so far away, was taking all the biofuel with us. So I came up here to see if I could see where I could die. Uh, sorry. Well, I mean, I could die just by walking off the edge here, but. If I could see where I did die. I think it's in amongst all these rock formations over here. I've got a feeling if I just carried on the way I was coming, I would have probably come out and then uh, followed this water down here. The problem of using all the biofuel is not a big problem. A couple of minutes uh, honest effort at the oasis over there should do me a winner. I, I, did, I didn't jump far enough. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, two deaths in a row. No problem, though. No problem. I'm particularly enjoying the fact that, you know, there's no loading screen when we die this close. So, uh, I'm going to just write those up, those bits off. Don't care. Do not care. We can make ourselves a whole bunch of the extra stuff that we need. Let's grab some of these, some of these. I, I don't know if any of these are actually what we need for, uh, like, the rebar gun. That's that's going to be a must. Let's, let's have a look through here. Let's see what we want. The rebar gun. We want one of these. I can't afford because... The <clears throat> Hold on. So, as I said, a rebar gun would definitely be handy. We could probably do with a color gun as well. Well, 25 crafts. I didn't quite realize. How many of the spiked rebars are we going to need? Quite a few of those, I should imagine. Let's just knock up 20 or so. I mean, that's good. The color gun, we are missing a few screws. Ah, always a few screws, but that's no problem because literally they take like a seconds to make. We needed 80 and I now have over 90, so that's pretty cool. Make one of those. We also need a color cartridge, of course, but that's no problem. I'm wondering what else we need. The chainsaw, maybe? More screws, it turns out. So as I was saying, let's get a chainsaw. We need one of these. Uh, we want the color cartridge. I mean, one of these would probably do. I'm actually going to make a couple of beacons because there have been a couple of times when I could have used those. And I think that's good for putting into my, my, my random box of stuff. Now, talking of my random box of stuff, if I come over here and grab some wire, does that give, give me enough? I don't, I don't know exactly, but I'm going to come over to here. We're going to hit steel production. We're going to select the milestone. We're going to realize that no, it is not wire that we're short of. Indeed, it is cable. Manual crafting to make myself feel dirty, but here we go. Bam, steel production. Man, this is unlocked a lot, and Ada wants to tell us. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. And the one in particular I want to be able to craft... Wow, what does the foundry do? Let's have a look. Can be automated by feeding or into it with conveyor belt that can be connected to the inputs. The, produ uh, the produced ingots can be automatically extracted by connecting conveyor belt. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So I presume this is the one that gives us uh, steel, right? We put in iron and coal and get steel. So that's going to be one of the things that we're working on. This minor part two, I actually wanted to look at the stats, but you know, let's click on it and have a look. Those are some serious, serious build requirements there. But the thing I am after, oh yes indeed, is actually in here. I want to see how we go about making a motor. So we need the rotor and we need two stators. And the stators are made from, oh look at this, steel pipes. And the steel pipes are made from steel. Okay, that's fine. We can definitely work on that. And the thing, the place that I want to work on it, just around the corner. So there's, there's my, my tower of stairs. Uh, let's jump over to this slightly larger rock. I'll, t I'll take that damage. That's fine. And we'll grab some of these for the biofuel that we lost. Speaking of losses, we lost the truck. And that is going to be a little bit detrimental to our plans here. So as you can see, we've got ourselves three iron nodes. All right. So let's go in here. We want three miners mark two. Right. Cool. We also want to have a tractor and two truck stations because we're going to bring some coal over. We need to bring coal. Uh, we then will want a whole bunch of these foundries. I don't know how many, but I'm going to say we probably want uh, six. 
you know, multiples of the number of nodes we have. That that sounds good. Um, is there anything else we're going to need? I mean, probably we're going to want assemblers and all this sort of stuff. But that seems to be the basics of what we need. Let's go and get everything together that we need for this list over here. I just noticed we're not going to be able to do these markers, uh, miners mark three. Uh, because we don't have access to the steel pipes yet. We we need to make the markers mark the miners mark one. Wow. Uh, before that we can actually make the steel. So let's go around and collect all of this stuff up. A bit of concrete, bit of cable, some modular frames. It all should be nice and easy, really. Oh look, it's still producing. Poof, we've not even caught up yet. We've not even caught up. Ah, but guys, I'm afraid I've actually ran out of time. Well, that looks weird looking at it in that direction. I've actually ran out of time for this episode. I've uh, gone down, I've had a look at how much recorded stuff we've got, and we are at a full one. So I'm afraid we're going to have to move on to some other things. So, uh, well, move on to the next episode. But next time, I will be trying to do some, some weirdness. I think in between episodes, I might even set up a small little series of jump pads here. Like if I put this one down here and then somewhere we should be able to throw a jump pad down. Now, I'm not sure where this is going to end up pushing me to. No? Is that not... Do I have to jump? I have to jump. Okay, fair enough. Uh, oh, very close, very close. But then do I want to put like a, a, a foundation off of here? But these these are all things to talk about next time. I will see you guys around when we're going to do that. We're going to work on the steel. I would like to know which one you would like to hear about first. Maybe we go and find our body. It's over with our truck. What was that? Oh, it's the pod coming back. Oh, it's the pod coming back. Yeah, let me, let me know what you want to see because personally... I could just write that truck off right now. I, th I think I'm all right with it. We didn't take too much stuff. Uh, and there's only sort of items and, and equipment from my body that we'd want to get back to. I really can't go up any further than that. Okay, it would have to be at this level here. Uh, but yeah, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!